baffling because you have so many strong, devout people that fought for that parish. It's a historic parish. Good evening, everyone. The Buffalo community is saying goodbye to an east side church, once the center of that neighborhood. The diocese has announced St. Anne's will not reopen. It is now up for sale. News Force Callan Gray joins us live in the newsroom with these details. Callan? Well, and Alina, the Vatican's highest court has backed up Bishop Malone's 2013 decision to close St. Anne's. The Diocese of Buffalo announced yesterday it is now up for sale. A group of parishioners appealed the closure four years ago, hoping it would reopen. There was an initial ruling in their favor, but that has now been overturned. Operations were suspended at the church in 2012 after structural issues were discovered. A year later, it was closed. The diocese continues to say it cannot afford the repairs, which were estimated at about $12 million. Well, even after it closed, parishioners continued to meet outside the church every Sunday to say the rosary. And friends of St. Anne have been raising money over the past four years, hoping to have enough to start the work themselves. This parish is more than 150 years old. The church itself was built over eight years, starting in the late 1800s, and it's been a centerpiece in the community ever since. I think the diocese should be fighting for Catholic believers in the city of Buffalo. The city is rebuilding. Be part of that process. Work with worshipers. Try to make something like that work. The idea of just casting aside these buildings and, and abandoning these congregations, um, I think, is, is an idea whose time should be over with by now. Bishop Malone released a statement yesterday saying, quote, we will do all that we can within the confines of safety and feasibility to remove all sacred and artistically significant artifacts. We hope to save the most significant elements of the Shrine of St. Anne for relocation. The plan, they plan to announce where those items will be relocated in the coming months. The diocese is asking parishioners to use the money they've raised over the past few years to help relocate the shrine. Reporting in the newsroom, Callan Gray, News 4.